Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Galentine's Day gift ideas video to acknowledge and celebrate the women in our life on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day doesn't have to be all about romantic relationships either. We can celebrate our best friends, our mothers, our aunts, our co-workers, and even ourselves on Valentine's Day. So today I'm going to share with you guys a few ideas. I want to thank FTD Flowers for sponsoring the first part of this video. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love flowers. I love a beautiful bouquet, and I think a lot of women can relate. You really can't go wrong with ordering and delivering flowers on Valentine's Day. So if there is a woman in your life that you want to celebrate on Valentine's Day, if you use my link in the description, you can save 20% off of your Valentine's Day order at ftd.com. They are so beautiful. I wanted to see for myself, so I ordered these two absolutely stunning. They're handcrafted bouquets, hand delivered by a local florist, super stunning. So if you want to send some flowers to a woman in your life, someone that you love on Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day, be sure to check out my link to get 20% off. So again, huge thanks to FTD Flowers for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in with the other Galentine's Day ideas. So in addition to flowers or on its own, I love the idea of a Galentine's Day self-care basket. I share a lot of self-care videos on this channel, and I'm sure because I do a lot of videos about that, it seems like that's all I ever do. But I think the truth is, is that it is really hard to get that time as women, and especially the more that comes on your plate. So I feel like for Valentine's Day, it's a really fun idea to put together a self-care basket for the women in your life. I got a bunch of goodies from Target, there's a lot of grab and go sections at Target in the skincare section and the candy section. Also, they have the five and three dollar section. So I got these socks and this candle. I got that really great mug that says yoga and coffee. And then I got strawberry lip balm and a towel. So just a basket to, to say, hey, take a minute for yourself. Take a bath, have some chocolate and wine. And you can always customize these. You could always add apple cider instead or slippers or something else of your choice. Okay, now we're gonna be making some DIYs. You can either gift these or you can use these for yourself on Valentine's Day. So I'm starting with bath cubes. These are kind of like bath bombs, but they're a little bit smaller and they look like cubes. In a bowl, I have my dry ingredients, which is citric acid, cornstarch, Epsom salt, baking soda. I'll put all of the ingredients listed in the description along with the ratios. Then I have my wet ingredients, which is a little bit of water, a little bit of coconut oil, and then also I have some food grade food coloring, which you can choose to make these white if you want, but I thought for Valentine's Day, it'd be nice to make them pink. So you really want to slowly mix in the wet ingredients to the dry. If you pour it all in too fast, the citric acid is actually going to activate and then it'll kind of disrupt the whole process. And I will say I've made a lot of bath bombs in my lifetime and I've gone wrong with them a few times. So the key for me is to mix really, really well make sure your consistency is of slightly damp sand like when you're at the beach and you're playing with the sand you can tell it just has this certain texture not too dry not too wet also when you put them in the ice cube trays or whatever molds that you have you really want to make sure you're pushing them down so that they are extremely compact then you just want to let them dry usually overnight sometimes it takes two days um, but if you push them down they're really really compact they'll dry relatively quickly especially in a smaller mold like this one You definitely want to be careful when it comes time to take them out of the mold so that they don't completely fall apart. Now in this case, mine were looking pretty good because I did get the consistency right, but I've had a few times where I have taken them out and they've just completely fallen apart. So don't be discouraged if that happens. Um, I also put a little red rose on top. So you have these really beautiful red rose bath bombs. Also, I forgot to mention that the essential oil that I used in my wet ingredients was red rose essential oil, which smells absolutely amazing. You can do any combination you want. Red rose, lavender. I like red rose and vanilla. And then you can just place one or two or even three in the bath. And it's essentially like a bath bomb. So it makes the most beautiful rose smelling bath. 
Next, I'm gonna make another bath product. I'm going to make some bubble bath. This is pretty easy. I have a little mini mason jar here that has half of it filled up with water and then the rest is castile soap. I also am gonna put a little bit of glycerin in here. Again, all the ingredients will be listed in the description and then a few drops of red rose essential oil. Again, you can use any essential oil of your choice. This one's really easy to make and it makes a really beautiful natural bubble bath. This is another one, this is a body oil. I've made body oils before on my channel, again, very easy. At the bottom I just put dried red rose. I also put a little bit of chamomile in there because it's very soothing to the skin. I have a combination of oils, avocado, jojoba, vitamin E, and then I add some rose essential oils for a beautiful infused oil that's great for all over the body. Also, you can get these great sachet bags and you can make bath tea. I'm putting Epsom salt at the bottom of the bags and then I added some oatmeal and again some red roses. So these are all basically a different variation of the same thing, but just executed in a different way. I'm also adding a few drops of the red rose essential oil, which I get from Shea Moisture and the oatmeal is really softening to the skin. Uh, the Epsom salts are great for the bath. In the past, I've shared gifting ideas for couples, how to have Valentine's Day in, so you don't have to go out and you know manage the crowds on Valentine's Day. But today I wanted to share a Galentine's Day videos with ideas for the women in your life. And let me know if you decide to use any of these ideas. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.